إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد هذه الآية يقول العلماء أصل في محاسبة النفس يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الذين آمنوا حققوا إيمانكم واتقوا الله سبحانه وتعالى فافعلوا ما أمر وانتهوا عما زجر واتقوا الله كررها الله سبحانه وتعالى للتأكيد This ayah in Surah Al-Hashr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us an ayah that the scholar said this is the principle the guiding thing when it comes to accounting yourself looking at yourself and say what did I do for my future and when I say future I don't mean this future because everybody works for this future I don't need to remind you about this future you take care of it and without any reminder but the real future heaven tomorrow وَلْتَنْظُرْ نَفْسٌ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدْ Tomorrow, عبر الله سبحانه وتعالى عن يوم القيامة بالغد لأنه قريب وما هو آت فهو قريب Anything that will come, then it's near So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the day of judgment, tomorrow I can die now, it's over for me, day of judgment started محاسبة النفس, accounting yourself what did I do? Why I do what I do? Am I doing something that I will be proud for tomorrow? Am I doing something that will really take care of me to heaven or protect me from hellfire? Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you at the end of the ayah, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَفْعَلُونَ he told you again, be conscious, watch what you're doing, don't disobey, and fulfill the command. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khabir, He knows what you're doing, He sees what you're doing. So you are exposed, how dare you, to disobey. Aren't you embarrassed? Aren't you shy? Don't you have any respect or love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You find the person who smokes in front of his dad would not light a cigarette. This is nice. You should not light a cigarette at all, but this is nice respect for his dad. He doesn't do it. You do that to your dad, but you disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala publicly and you challenge and you consider yourself thinking about tomorrow? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khabir. A believer, when he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching him, it will deter him from the action. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I see you. I see you what you're doing. When a believer remembers that, he would stop. Yes, my mom doesn't see me, my dad doesn't see me, my teacher doesn't see me, my wife, my husband. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees me. And that's what really counts. He is the one whom I should fear first and worry about first. Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned a few things about a person who disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secretly. Hiding from people. And he gave a scenario where you're sitting in your room and you think you're alone, you're not thinking of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you're closing the door, worried about people coming or someone seeing you. 
Then the wind blows, then the door opens, and you just jump and you get so scared, worried that someone is going to catch you. Yet, you are sitting in the wide open before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What kind of faith is this? What kind of taqwa is this? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us to really fear Him the way He deserves and to not forget ourselves and not to be like those who are heedless. The worst thing is to be heedless, which you just dive too much in dunya, you forget your future, you forget yourself. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهِ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ Your punishment when you forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you forget what's good for you. So what do you do? You dive into your whims and your desires in this life and ignorance and you think you accomplished everything and boom, you die and the day of judgment comes and what you say? Ya hasrata ala ma farrattu fi jambillah. Woe to what I have missed and did not do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't wait until that time. That is the message. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.